My name is Jerome Scriptunas. I am a chapter leader for TechSoup Connect. TechSoup is a nonprofit that helps other nonprofits get, implement, and use technology effectively. And TechSoup Connect is a global network of events for sharing ideas about technology for good. And I am very interested, curious, and energized to break new ground and bring new technology to TechSoup Connect. And I am very confident that I am leading the first session in the world through TechSoup Connect with our special guest today from All Sober. Want to tell you one more thing about who I am and why I do what I do and why it motivated me to bring in All Sober. I run an organization, a community nonprofit called Youth Time Banking. It's a youth adult partnership for community service where youth earn time credits that they can exchange for school supplies and other interests and get help and coaching and stuff like that. And there's a graphic there on the screen that explains our model of community comm that is a way of organizing the projects that we do out in the community care projects, help other people, apps, use technology for good. That's the connection in here with TechSoup Connect. Learn is literacy, community awareness, conferences and sessions that you've helped with and make for community things we do with our getting our hands dirty and putting things together for others. The guest today is Rob Kelly. Rob is the business development director and board member with the All Sober Foundation. And he's going to introduce us to, or take us a little bit farther along with what, first of all, what, why All Sober was launched this year. Tell us about the online platform and the mobile app and why it's incredibly beneficial and it's particularly timely. And so I wish all of you a happy recovery month. And I put a post out to promote our session today. And I said, let's just stretch that all year round. So Rob, thank you for being our guest speaker and representing all of the good work and the platform from All Sober. Tell us what we need to know. Well, thank you so much, Jerome, and I want to thank everyone for coming to this discussion today. I want to wish everyone a happy recovery month. I also want to extend a big thank you to YCB, the Use Time Banking team, and to the TechSoup Connect team for inviting me to this. Very excited to speak to you all. I know I've met a few of you at various conferences over the last year or so, and I hope to see you at other ones in the future. Very excited to introduce All Sober to you all, the some of you may already be familiar with us, hopefully provide some new updates on where we are, where things stand and how you and your organization can get involved. I'll share my screen in just a minute and we'll walk through the platform and how to get more involved with All Sober, but would like to give you a bit of a background on how All Sober came to be. All Sober is a result of a family's difficulty navigating the recovery journey. They went through a very, our co-founders, Paul and Flora, had a very difficult time navigating the recovery journey, finding information for their loved one. And as many people can relate to, kept banging their heads against the wall where to find reliable, trustworthy information. It's a very overwhelming process, very emotionally draining. And there was no one central place to find trusted, verified, reliable information, no matter what stage of the journey you're on. So as a result of their difficulty with this journey, their loved one, I'm happy to say, is now been sober for over five years, readily employed, hap happily living on the East Coast. They sat back and said, okay, what can we do to help this process? If we can make people's lives, e one person's life easier navigating this journey, we will have succeeded. Hopefully we can help a whole lot more than that. So I'll share my screen with you and share with you the All Sober platform as it is right now. It's constantly developing. We recently launched a publicly in late spring of this year. And are excited that we have 25,000 folks who've registered profiles on our site and who are hopefully using it and finding it valuable and finding the information they need. 
big picture, we want to provide all the resources you need all in one central platform. So I will share my screen quickly and show you the all sober platform. Is this, does everyone see it? Jerome, is it all, all good on the sharing screen front? Good. I got a thumbs up. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. So this is where all sober is right now. I'm going to get that out of the way. Again, happy recovery month to everyone. I know this is a very busy month for a lot of you. And I want to thank you all for all you do in your respective communities and throughout the country and possibly the world. So what of founders Paul and Flora did, they mapped the recovery journey out into seg seven segments. We have help and information for those just finding out that they or a loved one needs help. And that all these new questions, new vocabulary words are being thrown at you, detox, inpatient, outpatient, dual diagnosis, and it can be quite overwhelming. So you'll find in our help and information section, you'll find a lot of the information you need to make informed decisions with the next stage of your recovery journey. A lot of the basic questions will be answered, but hopefully, again, we want to empower individuals to make their own decisions and not be beholden to whoever spent the most on Google AdWords that month. We also have some interactive features on our platform. Well, I'll show you the help and information quickly, which is general information about harm reduction. What are opioids? Uh, where to find help if you are in crisis? We have all of the emergency numbers right at the top of our platform. Within the groups section, you will find interactive group sessions where people are asking questions. We just we have support groups, different types of meetings on the left here. And these are all monitored 24-7. So we have, there are no, no one, as you can see, some people are already interacting today on our platform. And in order to interact here, you do have to make a, a profile like you would on a, on Facebook or any other social media platform. And all you need is an email address to make a profile. You don't need to provide any more information. We are very conscious about privacy in this very sensitive space. So we, again, monitored 24-7 to make sure that there's no, no one here for the wrong reasons, promoting wrong things and all that kind of stuff. We have a strict code of ethics on this platform and monitored very rigidly. We also have treatment and recovery finder, which we are building out. We have find local treatment in your area. We're building out the find counseling, find meetings and find sober housing. We're hoping to integrate the meeting guide app, the AA meeting guide, which is into our platforms. So people can find local meetings near them find treatment based on location, based on different criteria you might need to find types of treatment, types of insurance accepted, age, all these other criteria. We get a lot of our basic information from the SAMHSA database, but we have a much more robust filtering service where people can actually pick the types of treatment that is appropriate for them based on their needs again, and hopefully make informed decisions. So you can find appropriate treatment and hopefully not go through the cycle of one treatment center doesn't work out next treatment center, hopefully a better chance of finding the right treatment for you right out of the gate. And importantly, what we have on our platform, it, it was trying to, as we said, connect from one stage of the recovery journey to the next. So after treatment, we want to have resources, but okay, what do I do now? Where do I go from here? And we have a re whole relaunch section where you can hopefully find jobs and career advice. Our goal is to build out some sort of equivalent of indeed, but for recovery friendly workplaces. We also have, I'll just go to it so we can walk through it. More information about what type of lifestyle you're trying to lead, health and wellness information, finding hopefully sober so bands, sober book clubs, way of remaining that connection, the support groups, the continuum of care beyond treatment. And we're hoping that this can also be a helpful for treatment centers find as part of the discharge process, help there patients could get off on the right foot, right out of the gate. And, sim and similar trend, the lifestyle, we also have information on health and wellness. We are a good friend, Charlie Engel is an ultra who's in celebrating his 30th year of sobriety this year, has helped us create a video on how to start a running routine as he is an ultra marathon runner who just celebrated 30 years of sobriety by running for 30 straight hours, which is one of the most amazing things I've ever witnessed. And lots of other information about diet, nutrition, and spirituality. Whenever we know this million roads to recovery, we want as much information on here as possible. Again, for people to make informed decisions that best fits their lifestyle. And lastly, inspiration. We want to share stories. We do this a lot. If anyone follows us on social media, you'll see our 
we celebrate sober, sober anniversaries. We want to have inspiring stories by artists or musicians, but also just for everyday folks who want to share their story and remain inspired. So we want ultimately, no matter what stage of the journey you're in, just finding out you need help or loved one needs help, or you've been sober for 30 years and are just finding, looking for some inspiring stories. We want to have something for you, no matter what stage of that journey you are in. And by bringing it into one central platform, we're hopefully simplifying that journey to the millions of people impacted by substance use issues, addiction issues throughout the country. So that's a quite a large platform that I've tried to condense to just a few minutes. So I'll take a break. If there's any questions that may have popped up, I would be happy to answer some. I would definitely encourage folks to, to create a profile, interact with the groups. And lastly, you are able to create a organization page, just like you would a Facebook page with your nonprofit, your corporation, your university. And we want to promote that on our site and our process of creating those pages is getting updated as we iron out the first few months of launching. So I'm happy to provide a bit more information to anyone who may be interested in creating their own university page, their nonprofit page, and how to go about that. We're just ironing out a few of the details on the tech end. And if anyone's having any tech issues with the platform, I would appreciate feedback so we can pass it to the development team. But appreciate everyone's patience as we I so recently launched, we're still ironing out a couple of the kinks there. But I'll stop and take a quick breath and would be happy to answer any questions. I'm going to keep my screen up here, but if anyone has any questions, I'm not sure if yeah. Valerie might be or Jerome in charge of monitoring the, the chat box. Yeah. Valerie, could you kind of step us through some of the questions that came up to see if we. Is there a, do organizations set profiles on all sober? Yes, they can. Good create their own profiles. So I'm logged in right now. So the, the button is up because it knows I've already created one. But if I logged out, there's an opportunity to create a create your own organization page by clicking sign up here. And there's a little create click here to create a business or organization page. And as I said, that's that process is getting ironed out right now. So if there's any technical glitches, I will I will I would okay. like we try to sure. use, yes. simplify that process because right now I think some folks are having some technical difficulties with it. So we're just trying to create that, create, iron that out. And I'll definitely follow up with anyone. Actually, if I'm still sharing my screen, this is what it will look like. Creating an organization page here, and you can select the kind of category that you fall into, arts, entertainment, business, personal counseling, sober living, universities and schools. And we'll have a whole partner page where people can find information about each of these categories within their community. And we're ho hopefully having a function where you can search within them for universities near me, universities that have amazing collegiate recovery programs of which there are many throughout the country. And we're hoping to, that is an important factor for so many people that they can find schools and universities that have adequate resources for them. We know the amazing work that universities and recovery high schools are doing, and we're hoping to highlight them and hopefully shine a light on the amazing work that they are doing in their respective universities and communities. That's great stuff. Thank you. And is there a centralized crisis line? I saw an article you had in there for like suicide hotline. Is there one specific for? Sure. So let me logs back in and I, at the very top where it will say, find help now, there will be all of the immediate. Okay crisis numbers if anyone in crisis immediately will have the 911 suicide hotline the samsa numbers veterans crisis lines the fine treatment portal we have it'll give you all the information you need to contact a treatment center but if you need immediate medical care these are the numbers that you would call i'm trying to make it a different color so it stands out and that is the most urgent situations and we're proud to say that actually as a result of the, our platform this is that amazing story that gets us all a bit choked up. Someone in a moment of crisis used all sober to find treatment immediately and saved, saved this person's friend's life, which always gets us a bit emotional that oh, it's, we're very proud and that's, it has all been worthwhile and we just helped someone get the help they needed at a time of crisis. But we're hoping this, we can replicate this and get help to as many people as possible. Okay. Thank you for that. And then how do you verify that there are real people signing up with a profile? We need. To make a profile, I said, all you need is an email address. So making the profile itself is, I'm sure anyone could theoretically do it, but we have very 
with as we said, we're monitored 24 seven by him. He had 30 different moderators at any time. So anything posted will be seen by our moderators at any time to verify. We got, if someone is posting things that are positive, we can't ver necessarily verify exactly who that person is, but we have, we monitor the content to make sure nothing harmful is being posted, but just like any other social media site, we make, we're making the data as secure as possible. We don't want any information shared on the platform, but you're able to make a username that can either tell you, have your name on it, or it can be a name like mine's my initials, but I, the actual information is moderated very closely 24 seven by a third party moderation company. I know I, there was a mention of a 988. Is that considered Jerome? Is 988 a not a profit? Because there's a question here from Alex asking, is there a cost for profiles and university pages? So there are options to create your own page free of charge to create an organization page, but there are opportunities to promote them within the site, like you would on a other social media platform on Facebook or whatever it might be, but just to create your own organization page, there is no cost, but to promote it in any way within the platform that there, there are typical kind of like you would boost a Facebook profile, whatever it might be, it would be a similar concept, but the actual page itself is a simple page creation like you would on any other social media website. Um, last, sorry, one last question. And it's, it's, I have the app up on my phone. If you can see that someone's having trouble signing in. So there's some app issue. I'm going to write, uh, so there's some issues. It sounds like Jerome had something on his app as well. Again, I just appreciate everyone's patience as we iron out some of the tech difficulties. I'm not the, uh, the dev guy, but I'll, you'll be on the phone shortly. Uh, we're having issues with the app. That's because having it on the app is as important as having the online profile as you guys can test to. Um, we need to make sure that right. with your concerns, because that's. Yeah, I have it working on an iPad. It seems fine. A web browser seems fine. It was a little bit uh, hanging a bit on a cell phone, but I'll, uh, I'll try that again later. And I apologize, Jerome, because there was yeah. one question. So I yeah, yeah, why. sure. And thank you, Adina, because you've had some great questions in here. How were you able to drum up interest in this resource? So far, we've had pretty limited marketing budget, I would say, but we, what we have been doing is getting involved with as many conferences as we can to get our name out there, get involved with the issue, meet treatment centers, meet universities. We attended the, the collegiate recovery conference in Richmond this past summer. We also have been to all of the, uh, the East coast symposium, the in Baltimore and Cape Cod throughout the country. So we're trying to get involved at the ground level with the organizations that we hope will populate our site with their resources that people can find more readily and really kind of get amongst the issue and show that we are a new platform. It's here to stay. We know there's civil organizations come and go in this space and with, we want to make sure we are seen as a reputable source that verifies information so that people do trust us when they come to us. That will take time. That will take us working with partners who are established in the space, getting on board and sharing their putting their resources on here. Again, it's, we just want to be the kind of central hub of information for individuals. We are not providing services necessarily. We just want to be the kind of concentrator of information so, he, so individuals and families can navigate this journey and feel more empowered in their decision-making process. I think uh, someone has their hand up. Mitzi, do you want to speak your question? Yes, am I unmuted? You yeah. are. Okay. And I, I just want to say something to the group. So I'm at a university and we actually have a profile already made up and I can get to it on the laptop. But listen, I am 66 years old and I just keep having trouble with the, and I do want to say that I sent an email earlier sometime. I can't remember when exactly. And someone did get back with me, but I was too overwhelmed with some other things to be able to. So they did respond. I just want everybody to know that, that all sober responded. And then I had trouble, but I'm a, I've got the app on my Android. And the first thing that comes up is sign up or log in. And I can log in on my desktop computer fine. But when I hit log in, then it starts doing some little bubbles up in sign up, like I'm not signed up yet. And so I try sign up 
and then it doesn't let me do anything. So I'm just yeah, Mitzi, if we can chat, I'll still be happy to try and if it's, it might be a very possibly could be a technical issue that we need to get ironed out on our end. But I would definitely like to see exactly what is coming up so I can share it with our team. Because if you are having an issue, you probably aren't the only one having an issue. So I apologize if that's not if that's not coming up. And again, and thank you for everything you've done on it at to create or create a page and all that kind of stuff. I, I, we appreciate your continued support, but I would be happy to chat with you of exactly what is coming up and we can hopefully iron that out. So I apologize for any glitches. Thanks. Yeah. Can I just do a assist Rob, if someone needs a follow-up offline, if you wish to either put in a direct message to me or Rob or put something in, I'll have the chat saved at the end and that will be a way of tracking who had a question that's best handled offline yeah and i'm happy to share my email if anyone wants to, to shoot me an email afterwards and we can we'll work through any and all obstacles that you may be that you may be encountering yeah and besides it makes me feel fantastic because that's what TechSoup connects is for <laughs> is to show kindness and respect to people who want to make better use of technology in their community or work at the colleges or universities or libraries. I don't know if we have anybody joined with us today who works at a library, but that's of course a tremendous re community resource for safely asking questions. I had one, I'm gonna squeeze it in. If I can, sure. and then I see there's one or two other ones. So if I want to uh, be more knowledgeable and bring myself up to speed with how I can be useful, if I know some people who are in recovery, can you got, point out to me, Rob, what would be some of the areas on the platform for someone who wants to be on the support team or encourage someone? Sure. Uh, in recovery, because I, I, when I was going through my profile, it had you select different topics or areas or something, but none of them seemed like it was what I was looking for. And then I tried to write one in and then it bounced me out, but then I got back in again and it was working. Okay. Definitely for anyone who wants to be supportive. And so I would say the first kind of half of the journey is the more acute care, finding the medical treatment you need. But there's in the group section, there is ability to share anecdotal stories, what works, supportive messaging. The community section, again, is a, is where a lot of interaction with people might be. And the relaunch lifestyle inspiration section, I would say is the kind of post acute care recovery lifestyle section of the platform. So the most interactive supportive sections, as opposed to acute care would probably be the groups. And then community onwards, whereas the treatment recovery help and information is more helping you like become okay. more medical decision-making processes for you or your loved one. Uh, Valerie, let's go back to Kimberly's question, please. That's a... Uh... Gotcha. Are there subgroups, interest groups within the community board, for example, youth groups, athletes in recovery, et cetera? And if so, is there a vouch process to join subgroups? So we certainly... Again, we are welcoming any path to recovery. So those all, all those groups, we'd love to get more involved with them. While there may not be a specific subgroup currently, we're con con continually building those out and adding and more groups. We know there's an infinite things to add to the platform. Eventually, we just have the base the head shell of the of it now, and we're trying building it out continually. This I would say this platform will never be finished because we're always going to be new groups and new pathways to recovery, new breakthroughs in addiction, recovery, medicine, or whatever it might be. So we'll continually building it out. So we welcome any and all roads to recovery, and we want as many groups as possible featured and profiled on the site for sure. And one just came in from Danielle. Can you, Valerie, we need your audio on your mic. I'm conscious I've got kids in the house, so that's why I keep muting myself at the dog. All right. Hello from Danielle. I currently work for university and help run their collegiate recovery community. I was wondering if there are any marketing materials readily available I can provide for my students. Certainly. Yeah, we would, I would be happy. So about all sober specifically, I would be happy to send either. We have some like PDFs available. We were working on some more marketing materials just to get 
we would like, love this to be prominently used at uni the university level for, for students looking for the services that you provide. So I'd be happy to provide that with you. Either you can share your email with me or I can, anyone who's on, a, on the invite list for this meeting, I can share everything we have specifically tailored towards the universities and also the, and a, and a wider lens as well. Be happy to provide that. Thank um, you. I think that's it for now. Yeah. I'm just putting a, a note in there of someone would like to raise their hand and come off mic. And we've got a, a manageable size in our group that we can speak to Rob. So Rob, on, do you want to, is there a different way to talk about the app versus the, the web access or the online, or is it the, so we, the we have developed both and they should be work in parallel with each other. So if there are issues on the app, I will have to definitely pass it up the chain to the development team, but I, they should work kind of hand in hand and you should be able to, everything you should do on the platform should be working on the app. So I will reach that and I uh, reach out about that. And I appreciate again, the patience as we iron things out. We just are hoping to get the word of all sober out to as many folks like you guys as possible. So we appreciate the, the patience as we continue to build it out and we're hoping that we can all work together to, yeah. to obviously make a big difference in, in, in the recovery journey. So in theory, they should work in hand and have all the same functionality. So I'll definitely follow up about right. any issues with the app. Oh, it's yeah, it's a great platform. Can you tell us a little bit more about the recovery high schools? My understanding from having read a little bit about them is that there's about 35 or so in the United States are so is that a relatively new undertaking with recovery high schools? Are they, is there a growth plan? So I know they are, it's very interesting. I'm definitely not the authority specifically. If Mike Deutschlag is on the call, he is definitely the authority, but he, from what I, they are not a brand new concept, but they definitely were highlighted in a documentary that came out for Generation Found that came out a number of few years ago, not all that long ago that featured a recovery high school based in Houston, Texas. And I think that really put it into, put a spotlight on the recovery high schools and what they're doing and the need, how important the need is for teen, for adolescents, young adults, teenagers in this space, and then the support services to help them make that jump into university as well and, buy, and still have the same support services in the universities, which is why we think showcasing what universities are doing is so important, especially for those high school students who need that same level of support and conti that continuum mm, of that right. continues. They are, I think it does depend that how they are funded is so different that based on the state, some are, some have a part of the public school system, some are nonprofit organizations that are funded by other organizations and individuals helping fund a school. Some are private schools. It just depends on the state and what the regulations are within their specific school system. But they do, they are continuing to open new ones. There are some states in which there are far more than others, but the need is the same no matter what state you're in. There's a number in Massachusetts and Texas and Minnesota. And so they, they are continuing to grow, which is important that they, it's a continuing a movement that's continuing to grow and the Association of Recovery Schools is working diligently to, to put standards in place so they can continue to grow at that same level. Yeah. I see that there's a lot of, what is it, sub-menus along the tabs. And when I first started looking at the All Sober site, it's a lot to absorb. Maybe if you could take us through again, like walk through the, the sub tabs. And if there's anything interesting to point out about how someone who's been using this for a while, do people put videos on? I see they put pictures of their soberversaries. Sure. You also, just one last thing. You also yeah. have, you're on LinkedIn, you're on Twitter, you're on Instagram. Yeah. Is that? Are those links represented along the footer of the site or something like that? They should, yeah, down here. Down link. there. Well, okay. A lot of pages, Facebook, okay. Instagram, Twitter, and, and LinkedIn. And yeah, yeah. please feel free to, to follow us and find out what we're doing and all the amazing sober anniversaries we're celebrating as we, and we, we in recovery month, we've been doing some amazing Facebook live events and discussions with industry experts and we love the feedback we're getting on all of that. So yeah, as you said, sure. we can walk briefly through all the different tabs. So 
the journey is just all encompassing what is also about a 30,000 foot level and help and information. Again, this will be continued to build out because there's so much help and information out there. And so we wanted to answer the questions that right out of the gate, you're just finding out you're a loved one needs help and all this new vocabulary is being thrown at you, as we discussed earlier, and it's very overwhelming. And so we have basic information about what is addiction, informing folks that this is a, a disease and not a, overcoming the stigma that people may be feeling or facing at the beginning of the journey, the kind of the, the medical side of addiction and, and what is happening. And that can be a, a big barrier for a lot of folks asking for help, looking for help is that the destigmatization of addiction is very real. And it's something that we are hoping to overcome by, by all everyone coming to our platform and speaking in a unified voice about the support services that are out there. Hopefully we make a dent in that destigmatization process. So within here, you'll find information about let's say harm reduction, for example, or what our opioids dual diagnosis, as we know, mental health and substance use are often a dual diagnosis and they need to be treated separately than one and the same. So all these different questions, and you'll find if someone is diagnosed with dual diagnosis, there's specific treatment centers that focus on that, some that specialize in one or the other, and understanding those big questions before searching for treatment and you go in equipped with a more comprehensive understanding of what exactly you or your loved one needs to be, needs to know going into that process. So this is constantly getting updated with whether it's new uh, breakthroughs or in, like, new articles that are being released and new information that's out there. So here's where we want folks to go to find kind of general information and questions to ask themselves before making any big decisions with regard to their treatment or just informing themselves about the recovery journey. So that's what we look for in the trending news, for example, let's see was, yeah, more What's trending here are some of our Facebook live conversations with industry experts that these are constantly updated. It's not, this would be updated once a week or so. I'm not exactly sure how often we update it, but our content team is constantly putting up new articles and new videos and new content on this section. So we go to the groups section. It's loading. Rick. Yep. Yeah, here we go. The different types of groups that you can join. And if you click on any of these, you'll find questions being answered. I, so here we are in life and recovery, which is one of the groups that I have joined questions that are being answered by our team, industry experts, and then the moderators are keeping an eye out for any inappropriate activity going on. So this is where, as you said earlier about where, how can I be supportive? There are people here who maybe in times of crisis are asking questions. We want to be here ask, answering as many questions as we can and showing that's continued support throughout the recovery journey. Yeah. Uh, Valerie, can we, let's go to one of the questions here. I don't know. It might be related to what Rob is telling us about. Yes. First, I'm going to apologize for my bad spelling because that is, that's a lot more reliable than searching. Thanks for sharing that. I see he has a question. I see an area that says my, so my also were interests. And one option is in quotes, I'm looking for a sponsor. How does that work? That is, that's in the profile. Is that right? Uh, right? That would be in the profile. And there's, we have a, a team of on the more medical side who could speak to exactly how to get partnered with a sponsor. And that might be something we're continuing to build out. I'll have to get with our kind of, the kind of more medical side because I'm without my med, med, clinical background, I don't want to speak incorrectly about how we, how that process goes, but there are multiple areas that are being built out simultaneously. So I can definitely get back to you on that one. Yeah. And on that, we're in the profile where the part is my all sober interests, choose my all sober interests, and it has suggested interests. So can you enter something that's not represented there? Or I think we've started with a number and then we'll continue to add them. I think that it's like having a, like a tag or something like that in other social media right. platforms, but those will continue to, I think we have some that we have created, but ultimately yeah. we're going to have folks who can start their own groups okay. within the platform. But these are the ones we're starting with just to see how people are interacting and then build out other ones that they have suggested groups they can start themselves. So that's see. what I w had a little bit of confusion on is the, my all sober interest. Does that map to a group or 
what does that do? So that should probably alert you of any sort of um, articles that come out that are related okay. to the interests you have that you have selected or any groups that you've okay. selected something about sober housing and there's a discussion going on in the sober housing group that you'll probably get more notifications about what's happening okay. in that specific space. Sure. Okay. Is there a section on language and terms? Because I've come across different definitions and terms that people use to talk about their condition, their experience, and in terms of breaking down stigma, what word the words that are used, of course, are very important in cool. in every field. Is there anything on the All Sober platform that offers suggestions on how to refer to things, how to talk about yeah. it? I know that is, as you say, language is, is very important in the space, especially with the destigmatization. We had an article that kind of links to, I think it's referred to as the addictionary, which is preferred terms and more humanizing language for individuals right. through this journey. So it would likely be within one of our articles about the correct okay. kind of, or pref I say correct, preferred language. People are human and may just like stuff out, but I think it's way of hopefully encouraging folks to speak with that more humanizing language about this and treating it like a, the disease that it is, as opposed to some sort of something to be ashamed of or some moral right. issue that folks that has been prevalent in the, in, in this space or in the world. So we're trying to definitely break that down and that sh will likely be in our help with information section. Yeah. I just did a quick search there. I came up with something called the addictionary or something like that. That should be, that will like that be it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's all right. Yeah. And so if, uh, maybe just continue through those other. Sure. Yeah. So apps. the happy to, yeah. The treatment and recovery. I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the find treatment portal. So let's just say I'd like to put in within 25 miles, my zip code where I live out in Seattle, Washington. I haven't put any of the. These are all of the different searches that fit my criteria and I can make my criteria more and more specified to exactly what I need, whether it's detox, outpatient, residential, payment options, age, adults, special programs, is it veterans or whatever it might be. If it has an MAT facility, medication assisted treatment, so all these other different treatment approaches. So I can make this as specified as I would like. And so just filter by exactly my criteria and there is no, there's no way someone will show up on this search result if they don't fit my criteria, which has been an issue with treatment finders in the past. If you don't fit the criteria, you won't show up in our search results. So that is how we distinguish ourselves with addition to the other filters you can put in. You don't, you will not show up if you don't fit the criteria that an individual has put mm -hmm. into our finder. So that is how our, it works. And we do have a little bit of more information and questions to ask before choosing a treatment center to help make you make informed decisions and might help select some of these filters, which can look a bit clinical and you may not fully have a grasp of what these different, what all this means. So we yeah. want to, again, equip individuals with as much information as possible. Yeah. And our goal is to build out a similar fine treatment with fine counseling and fine sober housing. There are various difficulties that come along with sober housing as there isn't as much accreditation currently as there is for treatment centers with sober living. So we're working with professionals in that space to come up with a way of creating the fine counseling and fine sober housing or whatever it might, all the other fine meetings right. to find all those different avenues, because those are just as the counseling, continued counseling is, yeah. is also extremely important during and post treatment. Does, does all sober have relationships with workplace, like some companies have EAP programs, employee assistance. We actually are in the process of building that out. And we've been talking to a number of companies about creating work, recovery friendly workplaces, similar with employee assistance programs. We actually are right in the middle of a number of conversations about that. That's so that's very uh, timely that you asked that question. That's something we are continuing to build out with our uh, kind of right. uh, the VP of our of addiction, Maeve, who's featured on a lot of our videos yes. is currently working on, and we're 
working with companies and all the different clinical experts to make sure we are building that out very comprehensively. We don't want to get out the gates too early without having very robust platforms. So we are building that out currently. Yes, to answer your question, just that's the process of building that. That's great to hear. Do you, does All Sober have like a teen advisory or college advisors to shape and direct the way the information is presented for different population groups? Do you? So we don't have anyone specifically who will be working with the students themselves. We're hoping that students and parents can come to the site to find all that information they need to find the universities that have adequate recovery support services. We're hoping that this will encourage schools that may not to invest in that within their school system. So we are, we're hoping to, I guess, raise the tide of university recovery supports because there are so many universities doing amazing things. We want that to become the standard across the board of supporting students in, in that part of their journey. So that's some, we don't have specific kind of college counselors within all sober, but we're hoping that we can provide the resources folks need again, to make informed yeah. decisions. Yeah. I want to, uh, again, encourage anyone who's on our session right now, if they would like to relate what Rob is telling us to your work or, or if you have had experience using all sober or what thoughts or feedback you might have, does anyone want to take this opportunity now to either ask a question or offer any comments based on, I know that the people who had registered it, several of them, and perhaps those are on the session with us right now, had significant experience working in recovery, whether it was in a community organization or a university or college, anyone want to add their perspective or share how they find the All Sober platform useful? And, and in the meantime, we could continue to work our way towards the remaining tabs here. We, like I said, we have about 10 more minutes and to walk through that, the remaining few, if that's anyone else would like to jump in, I, I don't want to, I know it's people are muted and it sometimes takes a second to either post or get off mute, but happy to hear anyone else's initial responses. Yeah. So let's, let's just, what's the relaunch that would, that's a new term to me. Sure. Uh, just as a, so this community section, any page that you, this is your like equivalent of a Facebook feed. So okay. updates to my app, but uh, all the groups that I follow, like Forest University, for example, with my alma mater okay. and all that. So it's anything you like or follow will show up here as they post things. This will be a kind of a constantly, okay. uh, yeah, like a Facebook feed. So relaunch uh, is to have re hopeful what we envision, the phrase we've used to relaunch yourself back into society, hopefully with adequate support services you need. So as you can see, we have information about navigating job interviews or hopefully in, it with, this is actually a good a friend of mine, Tommy, who talks about how supportive, how surprised he, he was nervous to, to tell his employer that he needed help. And they were incredibly supportive and hopefully that can be a role model of what other organizations can do to support their employees. And he was, that stigma was very much existed, but he was blown away by the support he got. So that's a, a story of, it's all, it's all about all the companies don't understand. It's some really do understand. And we want to highlight places like that, that are really supportive of their employees and their families. Yeah. But here are just tips to maybe get to bridge that gap to the next step of succeeding in your next job, or if you're going to university or whatever it might be to help you feel supported and equipped with information to guide you to that next stage of your journey. So real right. ones for us is getting, staying on your, getting on your feet and staying on your feet in that post treatment phase, which is that critical yeah. period after, after treatment. Right. And then the lifestyle is, again, we, one of the things we hear all the time is post-treatment. I'm not going to be able to have any fun. I'm not going to be, well, I have to lose all my friends and X, Y, and Z. And we want here to be examples of what you can do in recovery to still have a fun, fun lifestyle, whether it's through health and wellness or music, this kind of ties together with inspiration as well. Be inspired by music, artwork, sports. We talked about someone asked about athletes in recovery. We want this to be on there as well. And all of that helps break down that 
that stigma that still exists, but the more people talking openly about what they're doing and maintaining a life for fun recovery lifestyle, right. that will be all part of these two sections of lifestyle and inspiration. And then partners is the final one with all the different groups we talked about that we're building out recovery community organizations, university schools, arts, all that. businesses, all that yeah. kind of stuff will be followed on the partners section where your organizations can create their own pages and be featured on the platform. One of the things I noticed as you were going through is that each section has an interior search. Is that right? And you also have the search at the very top of the page. So is that, so if you click on say lifestyle or relaunch, okay. So if you would please click on that or one of those tabs, oh, click on lifestyle, for example. Okay. So sober lifestyle, and there's a search area there. And is my assumption correct? That is uh, directing the search just within that section. Whereas if you went all the way up oh. to the top, that would be across the whole site. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, this will be specific to sober lifestyle and this will be for the whole platform. So this will be okay. I think, within the journey, but this will be specific to things you can find within this specific lifestyle section. Okay. And then just a couple of more feature, just a review of the features. I see the notifications bell. That's if, what, if someone uh, contacted commented on you, or there's a comment, if I posted something and someone liked it or commented okay. on it or anything like that, all kind of yeah, notifications like you would get on any other social media website. Yeah. All right. And I'm going back down to the bottom, maybe just a quick review of the links at the sure. bottom of the site, give some of the history in the about. And what I put in the the announcement for this session, I think it was the allsober.com forward slash newsletter. Is that, do I have that? I right. believe that is still the, the right, correct one, but I'll double check. If there's, if there's something else I can, I'll send it out, but that's the latest one I saw. And I just, cause I found that Nope, that was not the right one, but I found that useful in helping me to understand, I guess it's like the about, but it had the, let me just pull up the announcement for today. And that okay. was. Yeah. Also with dot .com without any slash is probably the easiest way just to, to get information without the slash newsletters, but probably. Oh, it was newsroom. That was it. So let me just put. Uh, okay. Yeah. And that's, so I'm going to verify that. Yeah. So that's okay. So I guess that comes from the about, I found that helpful for me to get a little bit of the history. Can you just put that one up as we got about five more minutes and if. Cool. The about, yeah, the about, and so this is the, the journey of, of all sober and how we were. Yeah. We and, and there's some powerful data in there, statistics, the 192 million Americans, 59% of the population. That's startling. It certainly is. Yeah. It's, uh, that's how many uh, we, is, are impacted either directly or through a loved one or a friend. It's you know, over half the population. So this. Is an issue that is continuing to affect so many people. So we know that this is information that so many people need and hopefully find value in the platform we are building. And then if you would click on what was was the newsroom one, is that what you were mentioning? Yeah. The content where it was that one of the, it's info.allsober.com slash content. I'm just going to, cause that's an interesting area. What? That's, oh, that's the contributors. So I'm not sure which one you're looking at. Yeah. I just put it in the chat. If you go all the way down to the bottom, I think, and it's the contributors, I think that's what I did. Oh, I got you. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. It's a, if folks want to get involved with the, with us, how they can contribute to us. We have guidelines and all that kind of stuff here about how to get involved, share your story, whatever it might be. This is how. This is the information okay. about how to get more involved. Yeah. Okay, everyone. We have just two or three more minutes before we, we do our countdown 
<laughs> to goodbye. Does, would anyone like to, let's see, I had the, our little poll up there. So how about we, let me see if I could pull it up again and yeah. go ahead. I do have a question. What is the current ask then for collegiate recovery programs and universities at this stage is the ask to share out with our students and create a, a page for our services. What is the next step for the college partners? Sure. Thank you so much for it. We, yeah, we could create a page like you would a Facebook page. We hope to continue to post whatever you're doing on campus to promote what the CRP or CRC is doing. Um, we don't have a whole, ask a lot in terms of, of anything back to us. We want this to be a way of promoting what you guys are doing on campus. And if in the students at your school will make a profile and follow you, they'll get the constant updates of what's going on within your school and your collegiate recovery program. There are ways of, if you wanted to promote what you're doing on the website, that's a, a, a discussion we can continue to have, but just to make a page is, is the first step in, in building that presence on our platform. And we would just ask, hopefully that students find it, the platform helpful more than just looking at your university page, hopefully there's resources in there that help them on their personal journey or that of a loved one, but just following you on there will keep them up to speed on what's going on, on, on your campus. Yeah. So we're at the goodbye point and, um, Valerie put in the poll. So this is maybe a nice way that we could, I'm going to do take the screen share and let's see if I go to screen one, if you would like to say thank you to, to Rob, this is one of our TechSoup connect and youth time banking, bring us back to, let's see, I have to activate this, right? It is activated. And I'm going to put in a thank you there. Okay. So if you would like to say anything nice to Rob, I am making a copy of the chat. And those of you who asked for some follow-up for Rob to check or advise on how to get something working, whether it was on your mobile app. I'm going to put in super and cause that's one of my favorite words there. Okay. So I got my super. So if you put in the same word over and over again, it will make that bigger and bigger. So I'm going to put in super and see if I can get that. Yep. I got it bigger. So we're having some fun with this. We are going to do our countdown now to say good afternoon and good evening to everyone. So Valerie, please help me. And thank you, Rob Kelly. Thank you all sober for this unprecedented event here for TechSoup Connect. 10, nine, eight, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two. I'm going to put super in one more time. Okay. Thank you, Rob. I'll follow up with you offline. Really appreciate you spending this hour with us. Thanks so, so much. I appreciate you inviting me. Yep. Bye everybody.